Well, a special ceremony was held at Government House last evening as Sir Arthur bid farewell to Bahamians and made way for his successor. Kendino Noel Sinai tells us that Sir Arthur spoke passionately about the country's development and also called on the powers that be to ensure the best is left for the next generation of Bahamians. His message was one of love and pride for country. His Excellency Sir Arthur Folks reflected on his last four years in office. Despite many challenges this country has faced, Sir Arthur said in his final address that we can still boast of political stability, the rule of law, and the service of justice. He said he leaves now, not presuming to have walked in the impressive footsteps of his Bahamian predecessors, but most certainly having stood on their strong shoulders and having benefited from their example. And to his successor, he extended best wishes for a successful tenure and offered her his support. I see in this new generation a spirit of enterprise budding entrepreneurs in the full meaning of this term as innovators in business, public service, the creative arts, and social development, helping us to address long-standing challenges with new vigor and imagination. The outgoing Governor General also expressed his immense gratitude for what he says has been an extraordinary opportunity to serve his country. He thanked former Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Hubert Ingram, upon whose advice he was appointed by the Queen. He went on to thank the former leader as well as Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Perry Christie, for their support and pleasant relationship he enjoyed with both during his tenure. He went on to say that we must keep faith in the next generation by facing up to the challenges that threaten to degrade our social culture. I have known this good lady for many years. In earlier times, we were collaborators in our common pursuit of political and social reform. And I know of her deep love for this country. Sir Arthur said he too believes that we can create a Bahamas in which the aspirations of future generations can be fulfilled. Though I now <clears throat> prepare to admit office, I hope to continue to serve, God willing, in the capacity that has always meant the most to me as a fellow citizen of the Bahamas. I bid you farewell with tremendous gratitude and abiding affection. God bless the Bahamas. Thank you and good evening. Kendino Knowles, ZNS Network News. Prime Minister Perry Christie thanked Sir Arthur for his service to the Bahamas, saying the outgoing Governor General has served with the utmost distinction and called his dedication to duty exemplary. The Prime Minister went on to salute Sir Arthur as one of the country's greatest thinkers, with an incredible range of, or an incredible knowledge that is, on a wide range of subjects. It has been my view and I have expressed it that you brought to the office of Governor General a profound sense of patriotism which doubtless emanated from a deep understanding of our history and our culture. Your love for country and your dedication to the Bahamian people were consistently evident in all that you did. Opposition leader Dr. Hubin Minnis also fondly remembered the impact of Sir Arthur on his life having grown up with some of Sir Arthur's children. He said Sir Arthur represents an era that crosses two generations and stands among the great nation builders of this commonwealth with the ability to still provide guidance to future generations. Sir Arthur has served the state well. He was at the genesis of much of our modern history, and it is my hope that as he leaves this place, he can now find the time to look back at the wonderful life he has lived so well, place it in its, in his, in its proper perspective, not just for himself, but for the benefit of generations to come. I look forward to that first autobiographical volume.